My soul is thirsting for you, my God. My soul. Andres Sarangovic of Delegate for Hispanic Ministry, and we are so happy to, to be here this morning. I think it's, it's a blessing to be learning more how to serve our uh, Latino community here in the Diocese of Candy. And on behalf of Bishop Sullivan and Father Benvinco, who is the pastor here at St. Charles, um, I'd just like to offer or, or join in Andres' welcome to all of you this, uh, this morning as we gather here. Uh, the festive colors on the tables uh, remind us of the, the richness of the church and the beauty, especially of the Hispanic ministry that takes place. And we thank you for your commitment to that in your parishes. We are thrilled to welcome today Dr. Osman Ospino for his presentation on Hispanic ministry in Catholic parishes. Good morning, everyone. Let's begin with uh, the following numbers. First one, three. It took us three years. In 2011, you know, Boston College began this major project. We went around every diocese in the United States, you know, including Hawaii. As a matter of fact, there are four parishes with Hispanic ministry in Hawaii, no? One of the places where Hispanic ministry is growing in the fastest way is in Alaska, as a matter of fact, no? Everywhere in the United States, Latinos, Latinas are present, no? And because most Latinos identify with Catholicism, nearly in every diocese, no? Except for two in the entire country, have you no know, there has been some efforts to serve Hispanic Catholics in an organized way. Okay? I know that Candem, for instance, a third of its ministry pretty much you know, is oriented towards Hispanic Catholics. You no. Know? So you are ahead of the game in, in many ways in that in, in that particular response. Dioceses in the South and the West, you know, have been dealing with this for five hundred years, as a matter of fact, you know, so this is nothing new. One of the insights that we present in the study is that the first parish ever in the United States, Catholic parish in the United States, was Hispanic, you know? It's a very crucial moment in which we are entering into an era that the call to the new evangelization in the United States will be largely responded you know, by how we engage the Latino, Latina, Catholic experience, among many other experiences, of course, not the only one. But given the statistics that we have, 40% you know, of all Catholics in the, in the country are Hispanic. 55% of Catholics under the age of 30 are Hispanic. 60% plus of Catholics under the age of 18 are Hispanic. 25% of all parishes in the country are Hispanic. So in many ways, what we are seeing is the Hispanization of the, of, of the U.S. Catholic experience in many parts of the country. In some places, this is more noticeable. The Southwest, for instance, in, the Arch in Los Angeles, the largest archdiocese of uh, the country and the world has, you know, 70% of the population is Hispanic. You know? So actually they say that Los Angeles is the second largest uh, city of Mexico, no? So that's right. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, so, but in other places it's beginning to happen. It's beginning to, for instance, half of all Catholics in Chicago are Hispanic, no? So in New York, in the entire, in the, in the entire uh, state of New York, half of all Catholics are Hispanic. In Florida, the number is, 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 is high as well. It's very, it's very high. And it, it, it will continue to grow, will continue to grow. So how do we respond to these realities? We need to you know, choose our battles in many ways. 
No? And one of the battles, the most significant battles that we need to choose as pastoral leaders, as people who are thinking about these issues, in particular is what we are doing with Hispanic youth. How do we engage this population? How do we take the gifts of the Hispanic community and bring them to the rest of the life of the church and then use the resources and the, and the, and, and the structures that the church already has to help Latinos to find, or actually to call the church home in many parts of the United States, in many parts of your dioceses, no, to speak of Hispanic ministry is to speak of U.S. Catholicism, or to speak of U.S. Catholicism is to speak of Hispanic ministry. God bless you. Thank you. So, yes, this is what we are facing. What, what, how we respond to that, I think, is the next conversation we all need to have at all the different levels where where we are working. So I want to thank you. Uh, gracias por su presentación, especialmente por su presentación como un profesional, especialmente sobre la uh, comunidad hispana. Muchas gracias, doctor uh, Ostrinsky.